<laughs> uh, the movies are bursting with song this week as two famous musical acts are given the big screen treatment. It's all the rage right now, yeah. isn't it? Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us. Morning to you, Jabs. The film Yesterday features the famous songs of the Beatles with a bit of a mm. clever twist. That's right, Eddie. Good morning. Good morning to you, Baz. Good morning, everybody. It uh, occurs in a parallel dimension where the Beatles, Coca-Cola and cigarettes don't exist. And it comes to us from Richard Curtis, who's the celebrated screenwriter behind Bridget Jones' Diary, Four Weddings and a Funeral and Slumdog Millionaire's director Danny Boyle. It stars Jack. He's a struggling musician. He works in a warehouse and he's played by EastEnders star Hamish Patel in his first major film role. His best friend Ellie is played by Lily James. Cinderella encourages him not to give up on his dream of being a star. One night a bus wipes him out on his bicycle and when he wakes up nobody in the world has heard of the Beatles or any of their songs and he's able to pass off their compositions as his own, attracting the attention of Mr Ed Sheeran who asks Jack to support him on his European tour. Let's take a look at Yesterday. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes. I'm just uh, listening to Jack's new song. Oh yeah! What's this one called? Uh, leave it be. Let it be. Well, rock on, Jack. Word has got out about a new pop phenomenon. We need you to come to LA. I'm offering you money and fame. Hello, Mr. Sheeran. Love your work, man. Especially the rapping. Oh, really? No, I'm really kidding. <laughs> Best leave that to the brothers, man. There's so much... Uh, oh, hello. Um, <laughs> huge, uh, huge promise in the premise of this film. I mean, imagine yeah. what a kooky story. Guy wakes up, no-one's ever heard of the Beatles. He's able to deliver their songs mm. from his fingertips to his piano and his guitar. He struggles to remember the lyrics but manages to recall them all. Great premise. Um, unfortunately, it's, oh. it's gone through that big Hollywood machine and the stories, oh, unfortunately, become shame. a little bit generic. So in the trailer there and those moments, there are some really funny moments, but we had very high expectations. Instead, we got lightweight feels. Three oh. stars for yesterday. Oh, we have to move on quickly, Jazz, because the tide is coming in behind you. <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. that's right. <laughs> You've also reviewed a new documentary about Michael Hutchins. Yeah, so from something lightweight to something really heavy, this is a phenomenal piece of documentary filmmaking from Richard Lowenstein and his group of filmmakers. They've worked with In Excess since 1984. He started this project back in 2010 when he first interviewed Bono uh, and over the subsequent nine years has edited a 90-minute piece that looks at the entire history of Michael Hutchins and the band in excess, including their 72,000-strong performance at Wembley Arena and uh, the impact that, uh, is uncannily enough, another bicycle accident had on Michael, as Helena Christensen explains. We were riding home on our bikes. This insane taxi driver got out of his car and punched him. And right from the get-go, Michael was kind of different. I just felt this incredible, overwhelming sense of sadness. This is not the Michael that I know. Absolutely tragic. A lot of people didn't know. I had no idea that Michael Hutchins had su suffered this brain injury. It resulted in him losing his sense of smell, uh, his sense of taste, uh, his behaviour changed. He became quite angry and erratic. And uh, of course, these uh, aspects contributed to his untimely uh, death, early death. And Richard Lowenstein has put together the most incredible series of interviews. He interviewed 60 people, including Kylie Minogue, Helena Christensen, uh, band managers, all these people that were extremely intimate with Michael Hutchins his family members, uh, and instead of doing talking heads, he's just used the audio from these overlaid over mm. all kinds of home movies, music videos. Uh, it is a painstakingly put together, incredible piece of documentary that I think any music lover, any Australian interested in pop culture and anyone interested in, in how the brain works and how something like this can impact someone's life. Four stars, an absolute must-see doco for Mystify, Michael Hutchins. A uh, couple of great music films, that one's out Thursday. And of course, Spider-Man is out tomorrow. Very rare to have a film out on a Monday but kicking off some of the school holidays with Spider-Man tomorrow but, far from home. I can't wait. Particularly if you don't know much about Michael Hutchinson's life that does look mm. really, really good. Jabs, so many music movies out at the moment. I mean, producers must be looking around to see who else do we need to make the life story of. Do you think there's anyone ripe for the picking, the Rolling Stones? I mean, who's going to be the next big music biopic, do you think? Maybe a Jimmy Barnes, given mm. the success of his spoken word oh, tours, oh, talking and delving into his childhood. Maybe ACDC, the Rolling Stones are a good pick. I mean, as you say, Rocket Man, the Elton John story, Bohemian Rhapsody with Queen. I mean, you really also need that crossover of big hits. Yesterday featuring a huge catalogue of the Beatles songs, and then 
in excess, obviously, that doco there, they have some incredible songs. So you've got to go with whoever's got the big song. So I, I think you're right, Eddie. We'll be seeing some more. Mm. Jab, good work. You better get out of it because even the surfers are running out of the water now. The weather <laughs> is changing. You haven't got long before it really comes in. I've got to go put my bin tank singlet on. <laughs> <laughs> Wear it for us next time, good please. Good Jab. Jab. Thanks, good you guys. That's a great set, isn't it? I mean, look how close to the beach he gets in a Nothing suit. Nothing says Sunshine Coast like being in the water.